for life. Come sit beside me and I'll take you through the nine herbal teas I have here. Once I've finished, you can sample a few of them if you wish. Yes, just come sit here. Are you comfortable? Good. So, there are countless blends of tea from all over the globe. And it's been brewed and drunk for thousands of years. Now, as you may already know, drinking tea can give you a multitude of health benefits due to the antioxidants found in tea. Some teas are known for aiding in fighting inflammation, boosting your immunity and heart health, just to name a few. So, let's start with the first tea over here. And that tea is called Japanese Morning Dew. This tea is laced with delicious blends of fruity flavours. A colourful sprinkle of dried flowers catch your eye right away. So I'll just pop some of the tea leaves. smell the fruitiness right away, can't you? So, here we can see all the different ingredients. It's a combination of loose green tea leaves, as you can see. Blossoms of the sunflower. Rose petals, chamomile, the mallow flower, and calendula. If you look very carefully, you may be able to see an addition of delicately pineapple pieces, which of course adds to the fruity flavour. See the rose petals there, and the sunflower, and there's a little chamomile flower. morning dew. Also great for a morning tea first thing in the morning to start your day off as is this tea which is lemon and ginger grass if you haven't guessed already. The ingredients to this tea is quite 
quite obvious being lemongrass and ginger it has the finest shards of lemongrass of the lemongrass together with the spicy lift of the ginger is perfect to start your day off. As is the Japanese morning dew. And because of the ginger in this tea, it can be quite calming and soothing for any tummy upsets. And great for relaxing you. So next is one of my favourites and that is Berries of the Forest. This particular tea is quite popular and it includes a wonderful mixture of dried These include strawberries, blackberries, elderberries, blackcurrant, bilberries, rosy. gives off a beautiful hue once steeped beautiful deep red purple hue this is a summery fresh and fruity tea that is full of
this is a green tea with perfectly roasted brown rice as you can see the roasted rice over here throughout the tea the little puffy white bits you can see combined throughout the tea rice occurring during the roasting process and because of this Japanese genpei cha is also known as popcorn tea let's see if I can get some of the popped So the roasting of the brown rice gives this tea a welcoming and warm nutty flavour and aroma. The other teas I've just shown you are more sweet, where this one has a more savour. The next tea is simply chai green tea. As you can see, it's a green tea and it has a delicious blend of irresistible herbs and spices. There's a few ingredients in this one. the green tea leaves, cloves, ginger, fennel, cinnamon, black pepper, and cardamom. As there are quite a few spices in this tea, the benefit digestive issues, reducing inflammation and it can aid in detoxifying the body. It also has antibacterial properties.
can imagine having a piece of cake or a cookie with these tea leaves. Wonderfully brewed. we have black vanilla. sweetness from the vanilla bean. And this is another perfect match to have with some cookies and cake. Great to have morning tea. This tea is Salem Orange Pico. It's a grade of black tea brewed from the leaves and buds of the Camellia sinensis plant. This tea is mostly sourced from India and Sri Lanka. It's a very rich, strong the name with the wording orange in it. It doesn't taste of oranges at all, but the name refers to the colour of the tea once steeped. It's a very distinctive orange and This one's um, I think the, the whole range I have here is quite popular. People tend to like this one right away. You can smell the richness of it. Leaves. Just waiting to be steeped. We have a couple more teas to show you. And then I'll let you choose a couple so that you can sample. Chamomile. Chamomile tea comes from the little flower, which looks like a tiny. 
on your little daisy. Yellow scented with white petals. These are quite aromatic. It's a subtle fruity taste. They really do look like little miniature daisies. I just love the aroma of this tea. See all the little flowers there. So this is a relaxing tea. Boost your immunity and helps tension. This is a great tea to sip on just before bedtime as it's been known to help with insomnia. Lastly, We have another tea that is great for drinking just before bedtime, and that is called Snooze Sandman. This is quite a colourful tea, floral and very aromatic. Adding to the floral mix just the right quantities of lemon and mint. So some of the ingredients include passion flower, chamomile, you can see the little little He also has lemongrass, hops, and little blue flowers. This tea has quite a few ingredients in it too. Very relaxing tea to drink. Would you like to have a smell of this one? Mm -hmm. So that's all the teas we have today. Ensemble. So would you like to taste any particular tea? Or you could try as many as you wish. Three? That's fine. I'll put three cups out for you. Okay, so you would like berries of the forest.
Japanese dream major. And what else would you like? Snooze is in there. It was at the end here, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. So. Let's put a couple of little spoons. just at the right temperature Just wait. on the top of tea. Most people don't steep their teas long enough. small taste so not everybody likes tea the same way so by all means do what you find 
find works for you. lovely colours of the different tin. Would you like sugar in any of these? No? I don't add sugar to mine. Especially if you have something like the berries of the forest. It's quite sweet enough as it is on its own. Is, as I said, quite savoury, so you don't really need to put sugar in that one. Okay. Put the sugar aside so you don't want that. Just while it's steeping a little bit longer. not too hot, but just hot enough. And give it a nice smell. Make sure you smell the lovely aromas. What do you think of that one? As I said, personal preference, so if you wish to have it much stronger, you just simply use more tea. Okay, here's another one.
Okay, well, thank you for sampling some of my teas. If you'd like to purchase any, the girls at the counter will fix you up right away. I'll just give you this little guide. And would you like me to write down the names of the teas? Mm -hmm. in any quantity that you like. And here's the little brewing guide for you. Okay. Again, thank you for listening to me.